Okay, I'm going to file this one out of all uh, oh, my gripes against some installations uh, video. Uh, I've shown you this uh, piping arrangement before. Inlet here, uh, vent pipe there. This is sealed combustion. You can see it by the little uh, sheet metal cover with the window in it. Okay, this is going to draw outside air for combustion. And if it's an 80% furnace, it probably can't draw outside air for combustion. Okay, this type of furnace here, this is an 80%. You can see the burners are wide open. This one even has a draft hood. That's, this type of furnace is an 80%er, and you're not going to be able to draw outside air for this one because the combustion chamber is not sealed. This, uh, these burners would have to be sealed and uh, bring their air in out of a box that goes outside. So this couldn't, uh, you couldn't use this for sealed combustion. Years ago, when these things first came out, I thought, great, we can get these stupid furnaces out of the laundry rooms. Because we were starting to get the newer style furnaces with the thinner heat exchangers. Now, thinner is not necessarily bad. It's just that, you know, it's thinner. Um, and it's going to rust through easier. It transfers heat faster, so that's why they're using it. But uh, they can rust through. The biggest savings that I felt about having this outside air for combustion, like there, was that we did not draw air from inside the house. Now, if it's in a laundry room, which a lot of them are, if you're drawing air from inside the house, you're pulling in chlorine, phosphates, and whatever else crap all is in that uh, laundry room, and it tends to rust out the heat exchangers, and it gets the flame rods dirty. So, uh, by the way, this furnace has been installed for about 16, 17 years, and it's never had the flame rod cleaned. And it still reads what it did when it was put in. So, uh, but the two reasons that we want to have outside air, number one is chemicals. Inside air is always dirtier than outside air. I don't care where it comes from inside, it's, it's always going to be dirtier. And when that dirt, that phosphate, whatever the heck gets in there, mixes into the burner, when it's burning, it creates corrosive uh, chemicals. The other reason is we wanted outside air because we started making the houses tighter. So when we got we took outside air for combustion, that meant all the air came from outside. And whether or not you do this or not, you're still taking air from the outside. It's just when you do this, where you have the air coming in here uh, from outside, then you have control over it. You know where it's coming from. Any appliance that draws air from inside the house for combustion is actually drawing outside air, and it's coming through the cracks in the doors and windows. So you end up with drafts. Good example of this, if you have a fireplace and you light a fire in it, no doors on it or anything, just big old fire, and you're burning the fire and it's all nice, and then you go back to your bedroom and your bedroom is colder than you'd expect. So the first thought is, well, the thermostat was near where the fireplace was, so I just shut the thermostat off and the, the furnace didn't fire up when uh, because that room never got cold that's part of it but the rest of it is you are drawing so much air from the house now a fireplace can draw up to 400 cubic foot per minute out of a house 
So it's really obvious with these things. If you draw that much air out, it has to come in someplace, and of course it's going to make cold rooms. Cold, drafty rooms. Okay. These things certainly don't draw anywhere near that much. I would say 60, 80 CFM, so it's not huge. But it's number one clean air, and you're taking it directly from outside so it does not create any drafts. So you installers that are putting these on with the little uh, elbow right there, I know it's a little bit cheaper. It's not as good as installation. A good installation will take outside air for combustion. I don't know whether it'll ever get into codes or not, but really, outside air for combustion on these new furnaces is the way to go. Anyway, that's so much for my gripes about inside air for combustion.